Um, this is my 21st year. We are in Kansas City, Kansas. My first year here. I was hired as a ESL specialist. My position is to teach the level one students, which are you know, the kids that have just came into the country, and those would be the newcomers. So once they learn some English, then they move into level one. And so that's the kids that I have, so they know some English. Having lost a small part of its territory in Asia. On the other and side, my job is to pretty much teach them English, grammar, conversation, you know, how to do conversation and that kind of thing. I have ego, right? My, my brother, like, babe, my other brother, is like, hers. Mm -hmm. I have, like, different, different names. No, it's not funny. It's true. It's and how are you named that? Oh, yeah. we have like one year we have changed like different different animals. I've been I born like eagle year like the one year we have, we have changed one year. Yeah, my mom and my dad are the both tiger. Like, these kids are either migrant or they're refugees from other countries. Most, the majority of them are refugees from other countries who were basically told that, you know, they've spent most of their life in a uh, refugee camp and uh, before they got to move here. You know, they all have just great stories to tell, you know, it's just like they've been through so much in their short time. and. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of things about Japan and Nepal. Was there anything in particular that you found interesting? Um, the earthquake. Um, I was shocked by how many people actually live in Nepal. That so many people in a small space. That was shocking to me. Okay. And why did you pick Japan? Uh, because um, in social study we are learning about World War II and Japan. The thing that I liked about this group of kids is you're able to see them progress rapidly. And so, you know, that you know, very rewarding to see them come in and only know a few words of English to, you know, presenting their projects today. You know, so, you know, that, that huge leap of knowledge that they learned in this nine months of school is just, it's refreshing. You know, 21 years and, you know, this is probably the best year that I've ever had. You guys are by this, this section. Now, is that where... Did you guys live it somewhere else before they moved you there? Yeah, like that, that that was the different one, different country. Okay. That was Bhutan, like nearby Nepal. That was a small country. There's a flag yeah. of Bhutan. That that was Bhutan. Okay. Okay. Um. So what were the what was the camps like? Like they have a small. Oh, like they made from bamboo. Mm -hmm. and like, they have like car. Uh, 
it's it's kind yeah, of cool. Bamboo, like, like you know the dog house, like you know they make like kind of that but a big, and uh, uh, it's like a different. The restaurant was uh, outside, and we have to clothes. We have to wash clothes in the river, or in the house, and we have to get the water from the fountain. Water fountain, it, like the water come in the time, morning and evening in the day. We have to get in there in time. Or we have to get water. So the water is only available at a certain time. Yeah. 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 It's came at 5.30 and it's closed at 7.30. And yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of, it's a sector A, like sector kind of, when you go to there, it's not kind, you look at the the t place, but it's not look like the refugee. It's like, it's look like a, some little village. Because people are starting building, they get education and they may, some people made, made by the, Made by the like camp like this. Mm. It's not look like mm. refugee camp anymore. Mm. Yeah. It's not like that. It's starting to get better. You know, it's not like we went and rescued rescued them. You know, it's like they could have stayed in the refugee camp forever. You know, um, eventually hoping to get back into you know their their country. Um, school is like our home and our life. And um, when it's lunch time, we go straight to our house to get lunch. Like the we eat there, and then after that we go there. And like sometimes we clean clean the school. Like around we clean. And mm -hmm. after school, when we have recess, we go outside and we play, and and we yeah, they have like a like a, you know period time. Just like here, but if they have a long time, 15, 10, like 10 minutes. No. Um, the lunch, the lunch, in the, we have to go straight home, and the, they have a time. If you came late, they're gonna, yeah. they're gonna hit yeah. you. Yeah. Put, yeah. yeah. Put the stick, put the stick in it. Hand uh -huh. hand back. But not yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. You know, just like with any parent, you know, you want your kid to have a, uh, better life than you did you know and uh you know some countries that these kids are coming from anything's a better life you know you would think but uh, you know there's still that sense of home that you know they grasp onto and you know it's like a lot of my kids you know want to you know once they graduate become you know teachers so they go back to their country and and uh, teach the children there you know how to speak English and things to you know do to give them a better education than they got when they were there so you know it's it's really inspiring I want to be a I want to be an engineer or a doctor okay and why because I also make something that uh, that was created by myself. Nobody was uh, created. So you want to be like an inventor? Yeah. What types of things do you think you might want to invent? Yeah. That <coughs> nobody had built it yet. Okay. We dream was to be teacher. And once you become a teacher, what do you want to do? Like what? You want to go back to Nepal? Yeah, Nepal? I want to go to Nepal to teach Nepali students about the English. I was to be a doctor so I could save everyone from the world like my grandpa but I couldn't save him. my kids and 
you know, their main thing to do is, you know, come here and get an apple. You know, uh, an apple is a treat for them, you know. It's like, you know, what's your favorite food in America? And, you know, it's not chocolate or whatever, you know, it's an orange or an apple. And, you know, it makes you think. It makes you think, you know, what, you know, we take so many things for granted that, you know, it's just crazy. You know, to be grateful for what you have.